Thầy gọi lấy vui Thầy gọi lấy Thầy gọi lấy Hello again, it's Kev, Norfolk Boy here, keep on a trashin, and here's my second part of building a model railway building of the Wayside Station, which is um, done by Metcalf. Um, and as we can see here, this is where we've got so far. This is going to be a lovely little building when it's finished. And we're now moving on to the next part, which seems to be building a roof supports so what we're looking for here as you can see on this one we've got B roof supports B B B so we're looking for another card somewhere with and it looks like here it is building a roof support one and two so this is where we're moving on to next so I shall start um, scoring out Okay, so just a quick reminder uh, where the little blue arrows are is to get your knife and gently score along the mark. Sometimes it can just slip and it's it's a nightmare. So you have to be so careful as you can see. I'm slipping now slightly. Uh, but anyway, the harder you seem to, to press on these things, the uh, worse it is, but that's not too bad. We can get away with that. Let's uh, let's do this one. And try and make a better job. Make it a bit lighter until I can feel it going through. Yep, yeah, I think that one's a bit more successful. So there we are. That's the two of them. Okay. So there's a tab they say to leave, and then they say to. Um, these seem to already be scored slightly, but we'll give them another one. Um, but it says fold two edges round on the score lines. Sometimes these score lines need a little bit of persuading. We'll just give them a little bit more. But not too much. And then what I want to do is I want to fold these that way. And the same with this one. It's just to lay it flat. Let's try with that. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. This one, that one seemed a bit stiff. This one doesn't. So sometimes you do have to score them a little bit more. And there we are, as you can see in the picture. We then need to uh, fold off the uh, fold over. Sorry, the second one. So we'll do that. And there we go. Same with this. And now we've got two. Roof supports ready for the beams to be put in, which are on oh, a little bit tangled there on this card, of course. Which obviously, by the look of things in the picture, will be those there, as this is the only particular thing that isn't marked. So, you figure this one out for yourself. That'll be one lot of beam supports, so that will be another. Um, I'm sure it tells you here how many to use. Yes, it says to fix the inner beams inside the outer beam, which of course this is the outer beam, um, and line them up with the blueprint and area on the outside of the beam. Make sure all edges are kept square and up at the right angles, so it should then look like this. So that's what we're aiming for, so let's go ahead and do that. Of course to do that, now I use my steel rule to help keep it all in one place. I just Gently score across that way until I feel it going through the card basically, and then uh, the same at the top here. Whoops, not the camera. Ah, and there they all come. And there we are. Same here with these ones. 
and then uh, I can start gluing them all together. Okay, so as you can see, I'm now sticking these together and I'm using this nice little uh, applicator I was talking about when we first begin, uh, began. Sorry, I'll get my words out properly in a minute. And uh, of course, you know, it's got this little pin here, which is sometimes a little bit awkward to get in and out, but that keeps that nozzle nice and clear. Got three of these, put a little strip of glue on each, and away we go. I didn't even have to do it on each, really, to be fair. I could have used the last one that glue on but and then just line them all up together give them a little persuasion try and make them as neat and tidy as possible there you go there's one beam and uh, now we'll go on with all the others okay so after um, studying it a lot harder um, it were not as difficult as I thought really and all the beams and roof supports that I need for the moment are all ready to move on to the next stage. So there we are. Okay, so now we've got this far, we're uh, we're needing to knock out a couple of these uh, other gable ends, and we also need to start strengthening those as well. By the look of it, with these um, inner parts for the gable ends. So we're moving on to figure seven. So I will now find all the parts we need here. Okay, so cutting out two of these pieces and the main part of the gable, I just need to glue one, two together like so, and they all have to be lined up and all together so that obviously when the beams fit, they fit nicely in without uh, having to be squished and pushed in to get them to fit. So when you glue them together, just make every make sure everything is all lined up. And um, we have to repeat the process with the other one. So uh, I'll go ahead and do that now, gluing each one of these together to make one piece. Okay, so I've glued those together using the pegs very handy to keep them held together until they dry. And then what we need to do is we need to uh, <coughs> glue these inner ones this way in, which I'll be showing you in a minute. And it will strengthen both sides um, just like it is in the picture um, and then we can move on to the next part we shall be fitting all of the uh, rafters and the inner gable parts so it shows in this picture here with these bits sticking out ready to set all of the rest of it up okay so this is how it's going to sit in there like that and they're going to um, all need to be flush along these edges and when it turns around here you can see that these holes should line up with a small kind of a hole that it's made really by sticking those other together because that was that is where the um, some of the beams are going to be fitting into so it all needs to sit in there nice and flush that one on one side this one on the other so I'll go ahead now and stick some glue on there and put them in their place. I think to do this it would probably be a good idea to sit these that way and then um, glue them in place like so. So let's pop some glue on. I've read and read the instructions this time because I know once these are glued and dry they're going to be pretty tough to get back off if I've done something wrong so here we go. I'm just going to sit that in there at the moment. Now bring it up, make sure everything's flush, which it's not. So just a little bit of fiddling around. That's better. Flush as I can get it there. I think so far so good. A couple of pegs on there. Hold that. There you go, and the same with this end, and we're rocking and rolling. Okay, so we've got those fit, fit nicely, and all we've got to do is wait for those to dry out and move on to the next part. And um, as you can see as we're going along here, these are really are quite complex little model kits um, that all build up into a very strong building. 
so they really are good i think before i move on next though um doing anything else towards top of half the upper half i should say not top of half um i'm going to drill a hole uh, in here somewhere appropriate and um, because i'm going to want to be lighting this up so i'm going to want somewhere for my wires to come through and i'll fit them first before i put all the uh the roof and that on otherwise it will be able to get in to get it stuck in the right place so it's not seen so much on the inside so i should be going ahead with that part next okay so we've got some wire in the light and i'm going to use as this strip lighting that you can buy on ebay and many other places um, and as you can see on here although this one's a little bit damaged we'll use this end here um, as you can see a little way along there's a little picture of some scissors this is where you can actually um, cut these once you've cut those that's where you'll do some soldering and uh, there'll be a positive and a negative and i'll show you exactly what you do there obviously with a decent pair of scissors we just need to cut along that line there there we are, that's what we're after, these three here. And they do have a little bit of stickiness on these, but you can always um, stick these much better yourself, a little bit of extra glue when you're ready to place it in the building whereabouts you want it. Okay, so well, the next thing we need to do is we need to use some, I've got some 12 volt wire here, that's normally what these run on. And um, yep, just need to cut a nice piece of wire so it's long enough to go through the bottom of the building and through the board. So at the other end, you've got something to start connecting to when you connect up to your switches or whatever else you might be wiring it to. So here we go. Let's uh, say we'll um, at least give this a foot in length, I think. And that would be good. So I'll go ahead and cut that. It's um, a good idea to have some proper uh, in my box, some proper wire cutters. Uh, these are fairly cheap to get hold of as well. Um, so we can... Uh, strip the wires basically so if we just strip the wires right now get them the size you want and strip just like that strip both ends and one end obviously we need to uh, solder to this little light strip here so we'll go ahead and do that but first things first we need to figure out which part or side the actual positive side is now the I use the red cable as the positive and the red with the black stripe through as negative so positives where I need to find which side this solders to so um, these strips are, are normally marked with a positive and a negative this one is but I can't really get it to focus but um, if you can see anyway you've got uh, 12 volt be that end and you've got a couple of little negative marks there for negative at the bottom so that's uh, the red wire we need to solder to that side and the negative to that side so I'll go ahead and do that now these things and um, these ones that have got a bit of coating uh, plastic coating over top these are a little bit more tricky than some of the others we need to um, use a nice sharp blade and be very careful obviously not to cut yourself and make a couple of nicks in there and start taking that piece of plastic just away from this edge here so that we can get to the contacts so i normally do like one corner and another corner so i've got something ready to solder to get this into focus here i'll just strip a little bit of that plastic off either side so i can now solder the two wires to each appropriate connection okay so i've now soldered those two together. Two wires that I need and there they are and what I have is this um, this little gadget that I, I got given to me I mean so I use this for kind of testing it's 9 volt when the actual lights are 12 but it's enough to run it just to test it so I'm just stick or twist these two wires together And then just switch it on and there we are lights lit up I'm ready to go in so um, what I'll do now is I'll just um, just around those there I'll put some uh, insulation tape just to make it nice and tidy and neat and uh, so that the two wires won't touch together at any time and then I can put this into the side uh, 
get my words out in a minute, I can put it inside my building. And I can now thread these, this piece of wire through the hole that I've created. I just used a knife, but I mean you can you can use a drill, uh, just a wood drill on a you know hand drill or a electric drill if you want. Um, although that'd be a bit fierce. Uh, but one of these little um, battery operate ones with a uh, speed on it's quite handy. You can just drill through. But other than that, like I say, you can use a sharp knife and very slowly and carefully just poke and turn and turn and turn until you've got yourself a hole without pushing too hard you know so that you don't break all the card that you've made up okay so what i'm going to do now is i've threaded it through and i'm just going to get some glue on that and sit it right there because i know there's going to be a roof structure going over top just where that that ledge is and probably some more um inner gable ends and what have you so um, I don't think there's anything going there so I'm going to stick that right there in its place where it is and uh, use a couple of pegs to hold it there and let it dry and uh, the light will be in its place. A little bit high up just over top of where the windows are so that when it comes on it doesn't shine straight through the window. Okay so now that little light strip in its place and now it's where I have to become rather patient and wait for it to dry so I'll move on to the next section after that. Okay, so here we go. So we can now carry on uh, with our gable ends and supports and what have you. We've now got our building ready with our light and already fitted. So we can now move on to the next stage. So the next step is to fit these um, roof supports and um, dry run. I can see that that one fits nicely in there and will be glued in place. This one fits on this side, will be glued in place. And then this rafter in the middle will go across like that. And as you can see, we just put our light just underneath that ridge because I knew that one of these were going to go and sit there. So that's great. And now we can glue all those in place. Okay, so I've done one side. I'll just um, show you how the other side just neatly fits in. Just put some glue on the part of the roof that's going to... Um, sit against and then as you can see this the back bit sits on that little ledge at the back just about where we put that light and then the rest of it all just sits nice and neatly in there so it just gives that a little bit of a press down and voila there's two sets of supports in now just the middle one to go so we'll need a little bit of glue in now okay a little bit of glue at the back it sits on that ledge and that should be enough Everything to just sit nice and neatly inside okay yep I think that's okay just needs to sit a little bit further down but all in all all looking good now have two little tabs here and here that have been sitting there for a while and they need to be a little bit of glue there and a little bit of glue there and turned over and pushed down so that those bricks sit nice and neatly for when all the roof goes on okay so we just need to for those to sit and dry so these elastic bands come in rather handy for these sort of things so if we can just wrap that around there like that elastic bands not quite strong enough you can just double it up get out of it there we go that should sort that side out another one for the other and uh, let them dry the next bit is rather clever this um, wall now um, will end up being fit to here for the building B to be linked to um, and basically what happens here is you need to put a little bit of glue on this bit and pull the tab over and then when that's sitting there and dried off it then fits on there and that's kind of called the location tab because it will sit in that nice little insert, uh, insert part here so it's nice and neatly so that it just you know you know exactly where it's got to be brilliant okay so now that's dry we can pop some glue on there and put it on the end there so let's just uh, a bit of glue around here 
as I say, these models are great. They're very, uh, you know, you've you got to take your time and all that. I'm sure people who can do these um, and do them all the time can knock them together in no time. But me, I'm a learner still. So I'm just uh, videoing this for perhaps helping somebody else that's never built one of these um, Metcalf buildings before. I've built some now, but I'm still I'm still learning. Um, that you know, there's times where you'll, uh, or I will anyway, totally forget about reading the instructions properly, and then realise that you've done something wrong. So I'm going through this one quite slowly, really. And I just thought I'd make this video of building these things, just so that you can you can see how they're put together. But I must admit. After all the hard work you put into these, they do turn out to look really rather smart. All right, so I'll leave that to dry now. Um, and yep, we're getting there now. Moving on. Okay, so that's um, building A as far as they want us to go at the moment. So uh, I'm gonna move on to building B, which will be this bit to build on here. And um, this will all go together pretty much the same way as this one did. So I won't make this video too long by by showing every single piece. So I'll move on to that and be back soon. Building um, building B, which will be the middle part of the whole station. I was just gonna mention that um, I'm deciding that, as you can see, there's a window there and a window at the back, two doorways. Um, basically, I want some more lighting in there. So I think as there's gonna be no windows this side and this will just be attached to the other, um, other end building, and um, what I will do now is um, sort out a hole round about there so I can run another wire up and another little bit of light and across here somewhere um, just so that I've got a light in the middle part of the building as well. I mean, you don't have to have lights on in every single part of the building, but that's the way I want it to be on this one. So um, I just need to put the wires in the places that hopefully you don't see too much, you know, because if you look through the windows and you can see all the wire of the light and it kind of uh, spoils the effect. Um, I will be at some point fitting something inside here just to make it look like something's going on inside anyway before I put the roof on um, and that will cover up that nasty bit of wire at the back part of that one. Um, if this one shows as well then I'll do probably the same thing with that but uh, just thought I'd better mention that as I'm going along. Okay so now I've realised that um, I'm up to about 22 minutes already on this part two video. I think I'll leave it here for part two and come back again with a part three. Um, please come back and watch if you're interested. If not, don't worry, I won't be offended. Um, but if you would like to see part three, then yes, by all means, I shall be putting it together and hopefully putting it up on YouTube pretty soon. So thanks for watching and keep on a-troshing.